Hello everyone, DC Eric here, and today I wanted to show you a cool software for Windows. Now this uh, software could be used on Windows 7 up to 10 and even future releases. Anyways, this is OTVDM. Now what this is, is a version of Wine, which of course you may know is used in Linux to run Windows compatible software. Okay, so why am I using this on Windows 10 if I can run Windows software? Well, this version of Wine allows you to run 16-bit software, and as if you know, 16-bit software cannot run on Windows 10. So, this software allows you to do that. And um, you may have issues running 16-bit software anywhere from maybe Windows XP, but I know that it's Vista and up. Uh, yeah, you won't be able to run 16-bit software this does. So I'm going to show you an example right here. There's the OTVDM software and there's my BOEP folder which is the best of Windows Entertainment Package which, which yes includes Chips Challenge, Ski Free, Jazz Ball, blah 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 it has it all. Okay so if I double click on chips.exe it'll give me a different error than the usual. It says specified path does not exist. And it most certainly does because that's where we are. Uh, originally you may get an error which says this is for a earlier version of Windows. Okay, so it's telling us that we can't run it. Well, now you can. You just drop and drag your EXE to the OTVDM and look at that. The game runs and it runs really well just like it would on a Windows 95 desktop or even 3.1 I believe this was compatible with Windows 3.1 so yeah that's that's what OTVDM software is and it allows you to also use setups that you could not originally use on Windows uh, 10 and for example I think uh, Rayman 2 it uses a 16-bit um, setup so that could not run on Windows 10 originally but with this software you will be able to do that and of course like all open software there may be compatibility issues with with some games and some setups so yeah not everything runs but it does a fairly good job uh, the main issue with this software is that it runs that it sorry this is a pre-release and uh, the last release was in March 8th of 2019 so that was a year and a few months and so I'm not sure if they're planning on releasing anything new and maybe there is other software that allows you to do this but nonetheless being a pre-release it's not too bad. It actually allows you to run some certain games that you were not able to do before. And so yes, the latest release is 0.7.0 and again released March 8th of 2019. And there's the website as well which I will include at the bottom of this video so if you want to get some nostalgia and play some great 16-bit software you can. Now the reason for doing this video is because I just seen a video by Linus explaining uh, Linux gaming and they brought up a part where it said you can run 16-bit software. Well, I'm sure maybe they haven't heard of OTVDM and I do like Linus, don't get me wrong, and we all learn from something. So uh, OTVDM allows you to run 16-bit software in Windows. Um, Linux uh, gaming as of today I think might be a lot easier to get out of the box but I mean all you do is just do that download and put the OTVDM on your desktop and any 16-bit software that you need to run I've shown you how you do it yeah you just drop and drag right into the OTVDM.exe and there you go now, uh, if you want an even uh, easier way, uh, you could use the OTVDMW, and there's the BOWEP folder right in there. 
So you just open that and then go, hey, Tut's Tomb. And there you go. Tut's Tomb opens just like that. Now, of course, um, you know, with being 16-bit software, uh, you can see that uh, Mac's screen doesn't look exactly the way it did back then. And that's because these games were morally meant for a 640x480 screen. So if you prefer to use that max resolution, you have to select that. So maybe I can... Nah, I, mean, I can't do that right now anyway. So yeah, yeah. Okay, so that is OTVDM. And again, if you want to get it, you can get it from this link right here. And uh, we'll be in the little box below. You just click that link, go and download, and now you can play your 16-bit software on Windows 10. Now, I know I only release videos once in a while, uh, but I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Um, yeah, and uh, I will have a video again in the near future. Thank you, and goodbye.